There's the gains.
I am. You take money out here? Yes. All righty. Ten, ten on that. I'm just going to take the games. Are these the prices on? Yes. Okay. Is there so one of them $2? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What's that? Twenty-eight? Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Let me just grab you some money. Let's see. Yeah, so you can go out there. There's 30. Oh. I appreciate that. Awesome. Do you know if there's like any more video game stuff? Those were all mine. Were they? Um, Do you have anything else like old Nintendo or Super Nintendo? Yeah, but I still game play the Boy. Nintendo. I have a um like the really old one, stick games in the top mm -hmm. of it. Yeah. You have anything like that you don't play? Because mm. I'm always looking to add to my collection. I don't know. Do you have a I card do. or I do. number or something? I, I can do. Call you? How you doing? Good. You the man with the Nintendo? Yes, sir. It's a pretty dog you got. Thank you. Yeah, we just made a long trip. He had to go. <laughs> I hear that. Come on, son. Get in the back. 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 That's all right. Let's take a look at it. Whoop. All right. Like I said, I don't play it much, but I pulled it out the other day and played it for the yeah. first time in a while. Alrighty. And there's the games. Alrighty. Sixty bucks to do it? Yes, sir. Alrighty. There you go. So what you do? Clean them up and like resell them? Yeah. I uh I've been collecting for a while, so usually I try to find stuff that I don't have. But cleaning it up and reselling helps me put it back into my collection. So, um, yeah, I'll be able to, to do something with it. It's a good little bundle. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a good game. I've had it ever since my... Okay, so first off, at the Goodwill, I picked up this complete inbox, Tales from the Crypt, electric chair figure. Ah, uh, this is the second one that I have found. The first one I found was at a flea market for three bucks. And uh, it did not have the box. And I sold it for 35 plus shipping. So nice little flip. Um, but with the box, I should be able to sell this for anywhere between 60 to 75. Uh, the box is in really good condition. And the figure itself is in really good working condition. I've already got it boxed up and bubble wrapped and everything and sealed up inside ready to be shipped. So we won't take it out of the box, but excellent little find. This uh, is actually uh, pretty vintage, uh, pretty retro. It's, kind of, it's from like 96, 97 from this company called Trendmasters. They made 
several of these for like Halloween decorations, but awesome little find. So next up, we got this cool little SpongeBob SquarePants alarm clock. Uh, I did not inspect this good enough at the Goodwill. It's missing the guitar neck. And uh, I did not notice that when I picked it up, but it still works. So um, I had to guess, you know, just sell it for parts or as is. But this should have been like a $30 clock. It's probably going to be more like a $10 to $15 clock. Also picked up the Garbage Pail Kids movie. I have not seen this in such a long time. And I believe this sells anywhere between $10 to $15. So not a bad find at the Goodwill. Alright, so then we found games at the estate sale. And a few of those were doubles they already sold. Kind of helped recoup the cost a little bit. And then this whole stack is going into the collection. Now I had some of these games on other platforms such as Xbox and GameCube. One of the games, Freak Style, I had on GameCube and it sold to help recoup the cost. When it comes to GameCube, I only uh, hang on to exclusive titles. So if it came out on PlayStation 2, then I grab the PS2 version. So, uh, we've also got Jack and Daxter as a duplicate, so that's for sale. Spongebob Squarepants Movie on GameCube, that's for sale. And Crash Tag Team Racing on Xbox has a little bit of case damage, but complete and the disc is in really good condition. That's for sale. So, I've got three games that already sold. These three games are for sale. That'll more than uh, happily uh, pay for this whole lot here. All right, then we picked up the Super Nintendo lot for 60 bucks. Good little lot. Unfortunately, this console was not the one chip model. If it had been, that would have easily sold for $150 and uh, made us some good money. But we've got this listed for $160. We should be able to make about $100 profit off of it. But there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this content. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And folks, I hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Teddy Collector, and have a good one.